Hi, it's great to have you following along with our short course on the seven easy steps to get started in mobile data collection using Kobo Toolbox. So this is video two in our series. If you are watching here on YouTube, then continue taking the entire series for free here on YouTube. If you want to head over to the Humanitarian Data Academy, the course is also available for free there, except you get a certificate at the end of it. So if a certificate matters to you, head on over there. Otherwise, feel free to keep watching. Now, in video one, we started with step one, setting up your Kobo Toolbox account, including your username and password. Now we're headed into step two, which is setting up and downloading the Kobo Collect app on your Android device. You can see my phone on the screen. What I want you to do is go into your Play Store and I want you to search for the Kobo Collect app, okay? When you find it, I want you just to hit install. Okay, that's Kobo Collect by Kobo Toolbox. Okay, and it's just gonna take a moment to download it. Once it's installed, hit open. Okay, and you're gonna see there are two options. Configure with QR code or manually enter the project details. I want you to hit manually enter project details. And it's gonna ask for a URL, username, and password. Now, the URL, put HTTPS colon two backslashes, okay? That's how it starts. And then if you have set up an account on the European Union, the EU server, okay? We reviewed that in step one. Put kc-eu.cobotoolbox.org, okay? And that is going to be your URL. If you set up on the global humanitarian server, Okay, just kc.cobotoolbox.org. That's the whole URL, okay? But if eu kc-eu.cobotoolbox.org, okay? Now, once you've done that, put in the username and password that you set up in step one. Once you've done that, you're gonna hit add at the bottom of the screen. That. Okay, oh, I'm gonna get a couple of pop-ups here. Do it though. Samsung wants to save, sure. Uh, about permissions, okay, yep, notifications, allow, great. Okay, so uh, allow all those permissions as they come up. And you can see that you've now installed uh, Kobo Collect on your phone, on your device, and you're ready to now set up some forms so you can start collecting data. We're gonna jump into step number three next, where I'm gonna walk you through uh, the next step in this very fast and easy process. So I want you to go and download and install the Kobo Collect app, log into your server with your username and password in that app, and then I'll meet you back here for step number three. Okay, see you there.